As always, the mainstream media is now telling us what we already know. And it's hilarious. And it's pretty much a given, but I burst out laughing hysterically because my reaction to this whole thing, so water is wet. It's ridiculous. And I, I'm just going to say that. Before we get going, I want to say I have Patreon and I offer memberships on this channel. So if you guys are interested in helping support this channel, it's small. Um, it would be amazing, but don't feel you have to. So let's start the show. Posted on Comic Book Resources, a report shows that viewership of Amazon Prime's video, The R Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, steadily declined with each new episode, setting a trend that suggests the viewers may give up after the early episodes. Well, duh. I'm sorry, but isn't this, like, a standard thing at this point? Isn't this, like standard for anyone who in media and film viewers give up if the early episodes aren't gripping and the early the none of the episodes were gripping but this is hilarious for many reasons the rings of power was meh it wasn't very good bad writing cheesy as hell and ultimately just a weak television series on the other side of it i mean cringeworthy I, oh, I'm not going to go into a rant on the Rings of Power, because there are enough videos on my channel already. Please watch them. <laughs> this report basically shows what everyone knows. If the early episodes are not great, it's no one's going to carry on watching it. TV and the landscape of television has changed. People either binge watch a series, or they watch it in large chunks, and they want to be pulled in from the get-go. It's like a novel when people say, well, you need to read at least book... After book five, things get really good, and that's when the series gets good. No, no, that is a cop-out for bad writing. And a book and a series should grab you from the get-go. Ultimately, the failure of The Rings of Power and its viewership decline, which, by the way, whenever I talked about on this channel, it's fake news, it's fake news. Amazon are in panic mode with this, and they're desperate to try and cling on from silently letting go of the um, showrunners to other stuff that's going on that may or may not be true at this point. We'll see what happens. I do find it funny that people are so willingly grasping to this god-awful television show because, my god, it has diversity and representation, and it's pretty. Okay, that doesn't mean it's good, honey. That doesn't mean it's good at all. This show, this is just, like, this whole report on this is what we've known from the get-go. The landscape of television and people behind it are often very out of date with how people view media and consume media. And this goes to show how out of date they are. You do a television show. Within 20 minutes, I was both laughing hysterically and cringing of embarrassment. You know there's a problem. The viewership of this show was dire at the end, and it didn't meet expectations. And it, the fact that in the leaks, which we cannot confirm to be 100% at this point in time, but in the leaked information, House of the Dragon has outperformed the show massively. And that says everything you need to know. A good first episode, a brilliant first episode, a brilliant second episode, a series that, yes, it dipped slightly, but then it pulled itself back together and overall kept us kept the ball rolling and felt like a complete thing. Where Rings of Power was a show that had no plot and no actual driving, no... Nothing, actually. It was very strange. It was just a bunch of scenes together that had little to do with each other. Ultimately, the decline of modern media and the decline of, of television, where everything is designed for a TikTok generation or Gen Z, where they don't have the attention span and everything is about the aesthetics, there is a major problem. There is a huge problem with that. And... Ultimately, also, if you start insulting your core audience, like Rings of Power did before the show even came out, it became... people would switch off even if it was amazing, because you're insulting your audience. 
it's it's not that difficult. And if these TV shows and these companies want to make money and make successes, they need to learn from the last Spider-Man movie. Give the audience what they want. Don't fuck it up. I mean, the whole premise of modern media is that everything is declined to be about identity. Everything is about individual identity. When really it's groupthink. And the problem with that is it takes away the original meaning of the work. Ultimately, this is a rat's nest of a television show. And people are just talking about what we already knew. That's also the thing. Oh my god, the mainstream media are now giving it negative reviews. And they're saying all the stuff that people giving it criticism was saying from the get-go. That's what's also hilarious. You know, we criticise the writing, we criticise the story structure, the characterization, the acting, the CGI. But we were called every name under the sun. We were called ists and phobes for having an opinion on that. And then when the actors came out, I've received racist abuse and all of this stuff. Well, play it. Play those cards. Because that was horrible if it happened. That's disgusting. But play the cards. Name these people. Shame them. My God, don't just hide behind your social media wall. Ultimately, this is going to end up like Star Trek Discovery. And that show has no real viewership. No one cares about Star Trek Discovery. It's a terrible show. And it progressively got worse. Like, in terms... Like, I could forgive the the continuity and things like that and canon within the early seasons. Especially season one I really liked. But then it just kind of fell apart. Like, season one had the best budget, season two had the best cast, and then once it was, once it became the Michael show completely, it fell apart. An unlikable Mary Sue as a main character who has no character, led by that tragedy that is Kurtzman. Ultimately, Rings of Power's fate is that, and it's going to be that, unfortunately. It's going to be content for a streaming service that no one really cares about. And even the people doing positive reviews and positive opinions on the show are the ones are saying, oh, the special effects are nice, the cinema photography is really nice. Like, I know good cinema photography, and there is some really gorgeous CGI pieces in this show, but there's lots of bad CGI. Anyone remember the wolves? The fact that they are quoting, I think when... They st- I saw a lot of people switch off when they started quoting the Peter Jackson films. And the whole relationship between Sauron and Galadriel, which should not be a thing. But ultimately, huh, they took a quote and a line with from Peter Jackson movies and rolled with it. The This, it, it, this is just telling us what we already know. This is not news. This is... This is redactive information. It lost viewership pretty early on, and a vast number of people switched off in the first episode and never went back. And now they're trying to save it. I feel like whatever they do at this point, it's doomed to be just content on a streaming service, and I'll be shocked if it makes five seasons at this point, because people are people, and people have switched off, and I don't think they're going to come back. And ultimately... The um, fetishization of the cast and the characters in this on in the stand accounts on Twitter is kind of disgusting, to say the least. On the subject, if if you're only watching it to get off to it, there's also a major problem. That that's a whole different discussion. And if you're watching it just with one hand on the remote and one hand somewhere else, you know that you know there's a problem. <sighs> At least lube sales have gone up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of my toilet humour. I know I'm a Debbie Downer on this show. I know it. But this is the thing. As someone who loves the books, as someone that loves the Peter Jackson movies, as someone that has spent the best part of 20... Huh, 20... Oh, God, I'm ageing myself. Someone who has spent the best part of um, 23 years... I'm trying to think. 24 years? I'm, I don't know. 2001. Oh, God. But someone who also loved the animated movie as a child from the 70s, if you watch that video, it's on my channel now. The It's been a long time, so, you know, 
nearly 30 years. Let's be real about it. Um, I feel really old. This show was a failed abortion. And it, it, it's just telling us what we already know. I, I find that funny. I'm sorry for the ranty video, but I just had to talk about this because it's funny as hell. Because we know it, and it's not really news. But it's funny how no one's calling mainstream critics ists and phobes and all of this stuff. It's, it's just a thing. It's, it's interesting to witness. So tell me what you think in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.